Hi, in this video, we will explain the basic operating principles of water-cooled chiller plant. A water-cooled cooling plant consists of five pieces of equipment. Chiller a chiller is a device that removes heat from a liquid through a vapor compression, adsorption refrigeration, or absorption refrigeration cycle. It plays a crucial role in various industrial and commercial applications where cooling is required. The principle of a chiller involves the basic thermodynamic cycle of refrigeration. A cooling tower is a specialized heat rejection device used to remove excess heat from the system, typically in industrial processes or HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. The cooling tower achieves this by transferring heat from the working fluid to the atmosphere through the process of evaporation or convection. Air Handling Unit An air handling unit is used in heating, ventilation, and air conditioning HVAC, systems. To condition and circulate air AHUs are commonly found in commercial, industrial, and institutional buildings to ensure proper air quality, temperature, and humidity control. Chilled Water Pump Chilled water pump is a vital component in a chilled water system, which is commonly used for air conditioning, cooling, and process cooling applications in buildings and industrial facilities. The primary function of the chilled water pump is to circulate chilled water through the system to absorb and transport heat away from the spaces or processes that need cooling. Condenser Water Pump Condenser water pump is crucial for maintaining the efficiency of a water-cooled chiller system. It ensures that the condenser is supplied with a constant flow of water, allowing the heat absorbed by the refrigerant to be effectively rejected from the system. This process is essential for the overall cooling of the system and maintaining the chiller's performance. Let's move on to the fundamental aspects of the task. The connection between the condenser and the cooling tower is as follows. tower receives water with a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius after passing through the cooling tower the temperature of the water is reduced to 30 degrees Celsius and this cycle repeats the connection between the evaporator and the the air handling unit is as follows Water entering the air handling unit, AHU, is at 6 degrees Celsius. After the AHU exchanges heat, the water exits at 12 degrees Celsius and then proceeds to the evaporator for cooling. This cycle is repeated continuously. Please, don't forget to hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, for watching.